Thank you for watching Barely Stressing. I'm Joey Dees. And today we're going to do um, a quick little review on OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson's son supposedly is the one that these people are saying is a suspect. All right, let's go. Who do you think is responsible for the deaths of Ron Goldman and Nicole Simpson? If well, it's not a major suspect. I think the major suspect at the time and the major suspect still to this very day would have to be O.J.'s son. At the time, uh, he was 24 years old, 5'11", 235 pounds. He was on probation at the time for assaulting this previous employer with a knife, and yet he was never interviewed by the LAPD, the district attorney's office. Three attempted suicide was taking... Depakote to control a rage disorder, had checked into Cedar Sinai Hospital just weeks prior to the uh, murders and told him he was about to rage, that he was out of his medication. We know that two weeks prior to the murders, according to one of his girlfriends, he quit taking the medication. And you know what's happening when you quit taking uh, medicines such as Depakote. There's been a number of people killed as a result of that. Then in addition to that, the, uh, uh, the suspect's own boss, called us up and gave us a copy of the time card the night and showed us, and when we looked at it, it was a forged time card. We have a letter that's written to himself where he describes himself as, Dear Jason, there are three of us. He put his items into a storage facility there at Public Storage here in Los Angeles, and in that box contained a series of diaries. And when you read it, it says, It's the year of the knife for me. I cut away my problems with a knife. Anybody who would bother my friends, I would kill them. I'm tired of being Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. In the bottom of the box, in addition to that, was a series of photographs. That one in particular photograph shows him wearing the knit cap that was similar to the one found at the crime scene, but he's in bed with his dog. You also know that the hair follicles that were found in the knit cap that was introduced in the evidence in the courtroom came from a black male, or an African-American male, and from a dog. But they were never, ever verified to have been coming from O.J. Simpson. But this picture shows a, you know, a strong, strong piece of evidence that has never been compared because, as I said, Jason was never interviewed at the time. And being on the fact that he was on probation, uh, he, you know, checking to see at Sinai Hospital, we have his medical records. We have people who said, described him as having a rage disorder. Even Jennifer Green, prior to, prior to the murders, claimed in an article that she was pulled out of the car and choked. Another girl, Dee Dee Burnett, said that when, he, when she dated him, that he would got mad, pinned her down, pulled out his chef's knife, chopped off all her hair, picked her up and threw her in a tub that had no water and nearly broke her back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, I don't know how, how old that recording is. I don't know how old that interview is. I, I have no idea. That's, I, I didn't dig into it too much. It's just something I came across, and I just wanted to, you know, hear it out because I'm like OJ's son. I, I never heard of anything like this. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's one of those conspiracy theory videos and with the scary spooky background music but uh i this makes me want to dig in a little bit more uh he had no alibi on the night of the murder because of the fact we were able to prove after being furnished the time card that he left an hour prior to the murders Believe did you also you. find a knife in that locker i did and that knife is a replica of a Gerber Mark One, designed for one purpose and one purpose only, and that was to cut and to kill. But can you, you connect that knife to the murder scene? I connect that knife to the fact that when you look at the butt of the knife, three of the top medical experts compared to the mark on the top of Nicole's head to the butt of this particular knife and said it matched perfectly. We know the knife belonged to the suspect because in the sheath of the knife and found in his storage facility was initials JS. And this knife is a double-bladed Gerber Mark I. It's outlawed in the state of California, and we knew that Jason carried a knife in his boot. All right. Uh, then my question would be, uh, why would Jason Simpson, and if all of that is true and he has rage and, uh, and all of those issues, why, why would he take it out on Nicole Simpson? Very simple. On the fact of June 12th after the recital, uh, Jason Simpson was going to be cooking for her and her family at a restaurant called Jackson's at 8908 Beverly Boulevard in Beverly Hills. He was expecting 13, prepared the meal, and all of a sudden Nicole does not show up. 
I have no doubt that he had no intentions of going over there to kill her, but he was suffering in an order where he's embarrassed, he's prepared meals, and all of a sudden he doesn't see any of these people come. And as of an embarrassment, he went over to confront her. He had access to the back gate, had a key to her place, been there numerous times. Probably knocked on her door. She's expecting Ron Goldman. And then next thing you know, they get in each other's face. And she probably said to him, I'm not your stepmother anymore. I don't have to, you don't have to tell me what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I damn well want to do. And the next thing you know, it escalated into where she may or may not have slapped him. We know she slapped a previous maid that worked for him. If she slapped a man who suffers from Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde persona, who's quit taking his medication and control his rage disorder. So your theory then is that Jason Simpson, OJ's son, is the killer, and that OJ went there to help him cover it up. That would explain the footprints and some of the other DNA evidence that linked OJ to the scene. He got, maybe he called his father like, yo, dad, oh my God, it is something horrible. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? What, what, what do you do, son? And he went over there and was like, oh my God. Get the hell out of here. Go. And then his son was like, oh, shit. And they left. And then OJ's like, what the f-? I mean, I don't want to snitch out my son, but I damn sure ain't going to prison for my son. So I'll get the best lawyer that money can buy. who will fight this and ride to the end. There's no doubt that OJ Simpson was at the crime scene. But in my investigation, and I've done some of the top in the country, so I don't take this easily. I think OJ was at the crime scene. I think he was there after the murders. Hey, somebody's dead. Somebody's responsible. It wasn't a ghost. They didn't do it themselves. Somebody did this. Somebody committed it. Somebody has to go to prison. I don't know, man. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. Share it. (laughs) Doesn't matter. I'm barely stressing, baby. Thank you for watching. Joey D's. Peace.